in the first video of this module, you heard about the supervised learning paradigm and that we want to find a function that predicts our data points as good as possible. We usually do this by training our model on a part of available data set called training set and test the prediction against the ground truth. This video will introduce a number of new terms that are important in this context. Firstly, I mentioned that we want to test the predictions against the ground truth of our dataset. But how exactly does this look like? Super simplified, we can argue that we just want to know how often we predict the correct output and how often we predict the wrong output. But this is still a bit vague in a mathematical sense. Thus, we need something that we will call a loss function. In the example of classification, a very common loss function is the so-called 0-1 loss. This loss is calculated based on the misclassification probability of our model. So this means that we want to know how likely it is for our model to predict the wrong classes. But this is only one of many different possible loss functions. And why do you need to know about this? The important concept I am introducing now is called a risk. In the context of machine learning, we can differentiate between true risk and empirical risk. To formally define risk, we say that the risk is the expected loss of our model on future data. Unfortunately, however, this is not that easy to compute. Can you think of why this is the case? As you might remember from one of your mathematics or statistics courses, to compute the expectation we need information about the probability distribution of our data. In theory, this might work out if we had access to all the data and we would be able to compute the risk accordingly. But in practice, this is a very unlikely scenario. The expected loss on unseen data as described is the true risk. But now we have to approximate this risk as we cannot compute it. Thus, we are calculating the risk based on the available data only, which we will call the empirical risk. Now that we are able to calculate the risk of our model, we can rethink the training of our model in a more mathematical context. We can now say that we want to minimize the empirical risk. This concept, also called empirical risk minimization, has a small catch to it, however. Let's go back to our example of classifying animal species. Imagine you are only shown brown dogs, white cats, and black birds. If you minimize the risk of your model in that scenario, you will most likely end up going for color, as this will lead to a perfect classification of your dataset. And as you might see already, this leads to a bad performance on any of those animals with different colors. Now, this concept also has a name to it, but more on this in the next video.